Hey guys, Vern Danke. Here we are in Karabi, and I am at Thara Park Pier. I thought it would be of interest for you guys to see what it's like down here, so let's check it out. Hey, 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 Vern. Hey! Come down here, and you want to cross over to this all-exclusive Muslim-only island. You need to take a boat, and that's where we're going to go tomorrow. But I want to show you this little pier here. So these are the boats, the long tail motored boats. Check it out. So they have the ramp down. They're ready to take your motorbike across. And I'll find out the price tomorrow. So we're gonna go across there. I guess this island is very primitive. There's no cars on it. There's only motorbikes or bicycles. So that's where we're headed tomorrow. There's some guys here on the pier that I've been chatting for about a half hour. And I'll see if they wanna say hi. We'll walk up here and see if they're interested. We've got this wonderfully built pier want to hang out here and just kind of waste away your day you're able to do it hello hello guys how are you today are you good oh very good 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 and where are you guys from where are you from are you from karabi ah karabi okay okay ah nice 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 to chat you guys thank you so welcome to my vlog welcome to my vlog thank you my friends thank you uh, what, man? Uh, what? Tomorrow I will cross over. Oh, okay. yes. Villiers? Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I will get a motorbike. What is the price to cross? Yes. Is it is it twenty baht to cross? Yeah, yeah, twenty baht. One motorbike. Okay. One motorbike, one hundred. Oh, okay. Oh. And what time does this close? What time last last boat? Oh, last boat. Uh, yeah. 10, 10 o'clock. Yeah. And and what time open? Yeah, open, yeah. At 9 a.m.? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. 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 Thank you. Ah, thank you. All right. So he told me they open at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. All right. So we're going to walk over to this lovely little park that they have. Let's see what it's like. I was really impressed when I saw it just from the outside edge here, but I have not explored it yet. So let's go check it out, you guys. So everything along the waterfront here seems to be nicely groomed. Grass is cut very short. Seem to be a bunch of people hanging out here. So I'll give you a little bit of a wide shot of what we're looking at. So it looks to be a low tide. So the tide is out. The park is just behind this pier. They have some pavilions to hang out. And we're gonna cross over and take a look at the facilities here for the park itself. That looks like they have ice cream. That's cool. We'll go get some ice cream. All right, so they got some little vendors here. All right. So they got some little snacks if you're hungry. Hello? Hello? Hello, Po. So who has the ice cream? You have the ice cream? Ah, uh, ice cream? Ah. Uh. So it's 20 baht. All right, guys, let's take a walk along this beautiful park here. See what's going on. So it's been really hard to beat the weather lately. A lot of storms coming through, a lot of rain. And I've been pretty lucky. It hasn't been very rainy for a long time. So I'm getting a lot of wind. It looks like they have some kind of exercise equipment here. Let's see what they have. Interesting. Oh, that's kind of cool. Got sit up bars. Huh. Well, that's really cool. Oh, look, they got like a little inlet up here. This is a nice park. They got more stuff over here. Let's see what else they have. This is like a great little exercise park. Those things that you do with your feet, the swingy things. Wow. I gotta come down here now. Now that I see this, this is cool. I'll be down here now. Very quiet too, there's nobody down here. Just a couple of people I've seen. Not sure what they grow here with these pens. Some kind of an aqua ponic type thing maybe. Get your balance going on that. 
beautiful park. Gosh, this is really pretty in here. Got some lily pads in here. A great little lake here. That's really cool. I could see myself throwing a line in here. It's a big surprise seeing this place. Nice welcome surprise, actually. Just kind of looking for a place to walk. This is close in. All right, so here's the rules. Playground's pretty deserted, though. Not many people out using that. Maybe it's closed from COVID. I don't know. Maybe it's just kind of out of the way. Not sure what that says. Is that like a no parking? If you can read it, let me know. Well, they do recycle here, so that's good. So I'll throw that right there. All right. Hello? Uh, just want to give you a little idea what their park system looks like. This is actually the first large park I've been to in Thailand. It's very well maintained. Got a nice little water feature up here. That's real nice. So I see the coconuts, so be careful if you're walking near these trees because those coconuts drop whenever they want to drop. This wind, yeah, you'll get hit by a coconut if you're not careful. Always be careful when it's windy. That's loaded. It's like a bowling ball when it comes down. You won't hear it falling. But you'll know it hit you when you die. <laughs> I have a volleyball net, so that's real nice. So you can see the trees are a little bit different here. It's very unusual. See that? The, the top of the tree looks normal, but the bottom is very different. Very different. Not sure what they call that. I'm hoping to get a break in the weather tomorrow and cross over to that island. I'll rent a scooter and give it a whirl. People had said that it's like going back in time back there, that it's very primitive, and that's perfect. That's just what I'm looking for. Well, I wonder how old that tree is. It's got a lot of character to it. Look at that, huh? That's cool. Looks like part of this park crosses over to the other side here. And that's what we're gonna check out. All the ones I see seem to be private. I haven't seen any for hire. And I could be wrong, but in this area, I've just seen regular taxis. So when I go around, I want you guys to get a feel for all of Asia, not just every little tourist site, kind of the back way, the highway. <laughs> The Forgotten Way. I want you guys to really get a feel for what it's like. That's why I take you to these places. I'm not sure what this is. A little kitty themed land or what it is. It's got a bunch of... Yeah, it must be like a kitty land. Every animal has a letter. Interesting. And there's my letter. V. V for vase. Vase. I strongly encourage everyone to learn the English language, not because it's my language that I speak, but because it's the language of business. It's the language of earning money. It's a language that will give you power in your job, in your career, in your life. It'll open a lot of doors, so I strongly encourage everyone to try to learn English. If it was Spanish, I would be promoting Spanish, but English seems to be the chosen language for business. So this is a really big park right along the, the water here in Karabi. Very huge park, very nice park, very well done. Really impressed. Looks to be a 7-Eleven. Looks to be open too, that's kind of surprising. Maybe I'll buzz in there, see what's going on. So they are fond of their 7-Elevens. They're everywhere here. Hey, 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 Vern.